everyone. Hi, Miss Angel. Oh, that's sweet. She said, please remember to hit the subscribe and the like buttons and even share us out. Thank you. You really are the best PR woman ever. Yes. Absolutely. So, Nancy, it looks like from the screen here that your headband matches my glue stick. <laughs> we've coordinated is what we've I, done. I, I, I was matching my... I like it. Very sure. fun. Very fun. Okay, so... Um, Let's hear what Nancy's doing tonight, and then I'll talk about what I'm doing tonight, and then I've got a little surprise for later. So, I'm going to make you big. You're the superstar. There you go. No, talk no, 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 no. <laughs> Hello, Mr. John. Hey, John. Hey, John, if you're not going live, you can come on the panel. Just put on those jammies. Let me know. I'll send and, you the I'm, I'm, I'm finishing a flower that I, that that uh, for a pattern that Mr. John sent me. I'm I'm doing the center of the of the flower right now. So it, it it's a little yellow center, of course. Hey Herb. See a little yellow center. And, yeah, I like that. And there's like the that. flower. So I'm gonna put that right there. If you want to see me in my PJs, Kimmy. <laughs> hey, Nancy, you're faster than I am. Can you send him the, the invite link? Sure. The panel? I can do that. Because you're you're so much better than I am at this stuff. Do, 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 do. Copy. And where's John? Where is John? I don't I know. I just spoke with him today. On, that, he's right on top. That's why. <laughs> that, that, okay. That, well, your pajamas are technically man clothes, too. I'm just saying. I am going to be working with my Coca-Cola fabric that Miss Kimberly <gasps> sent me. Yay! But I'm going to be covering... One of my my smaller notebooks. Mm -hmm. I already have Mod Podge on here. You see the shiny I thing? I see that. I see that. So I'm going to um, be ironing that the fabric onto here, and we'll see how how it comes out. And that then I have yeah. a project that I'm going to be starting on my channel. It's a a friend because they say they say subscriber, um, you know, a subscriber tote bag or something. But yeah. I'm a subscribers are my friends. Yeah. So I'm calling it my friends tote bag. Oh, I like that. My friends. The, the I show like friends that. Too, right? Absolutely. So I already have um, several pieces of fabric that some of my friends have sent me. This one was sent to me by Mishi. Okay. This one was sent to me by, by Pam. I can't remember Aww. this one. I'm sorry. I ha it's, it's been a while because I've had this in, in my stash for a while. And of course... This one, yes. So I'm gonna be making uh, cutting four, four inch squares, and as as I get them, I'll stack them together, and then um, I'll sew them together, and make a, a nice large tote bag. I need about twenty four squares to make okay. a large tote bag. That sounds fun. Well, I'm just doing my basic hexies tonight. I'm gonna be continuing to make some of the dark blues, and I will also continue sewing on some of the ones that are already prepped i think i'm just going to have to go back and forth because each one of the things can be just a tiny bit tedious but i really don't feel like i can say that john said kimmy i don't think you want your <laughs> derailed by my pj shenanigans hey the invitation is open i guess if you want to Stop by in your regular man clothes, you can, but it's just not as comfy, John. It's always better to be in your pajamas. Always. Okay. I, I go to bed in my t-shirt and, and, and leggings, so 
I'm in my pages yeah. already. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So anyhow, I I I really don't think that I can say what I'm doing is tedious because I have a history lesson later on that will put some things into perspective. So I can't wait to share that with everybody. I want to wait, give everybody a chance to, to hop on though, before we do that. Because I don't want anybody to miss it. Nancy yes. has seen it and she thinks it's interesting. Yes. So, and also later on, we will be doing our tri-bond question to see if anybody can get that right. So that's going to be fun. So Nancy, how was your week? It was busy. Most most of my days um, were, was me getting up late, which um, is not normal for me. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't know what's up. I've been getting sleep, but, but for some reason, I, I'm not getting up before noon. So, and well, the good thing is my, my husband's letting me sleep. So maybe I, I need it. Did maybe you haven't thoroughly adjusted to the time change? I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Miguel knows. Miguel knows. <laughs> yes, Miguel knows. Well, I've had a, a rough week. Allergies and stuff. It's allergies and vertigo. So, but I haven't taken any additional allergy meds today. No bennies today. So I'm feeling hopeful. And I was approved by the family. Not that I wasn't so druggy that I couldn't go on the live. <laughs> they, they, they know better, huh? They do. They really do. You know what? My iron's not going. It's not hot. I can't press my hexes if it's not hot. Mine is hot. My itty bitty one. Hot, hot, hot. Herb I bet you're tired, Herb. Like early to nine. I'm tired. I bet you are, Herb. Yeah. You did a lot today. Busy. Absolutely. Does it feel good trying to get back in the swing of everything? I think I'm gonna need to flip this. I was trying to trying to heat it up from the from this side. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not going to work, so we're going to flip it. This flip one. it. Flip it good. Fold it like this and flip it like that. There we go. And then we're going to iron. Yes, I still got to remember how to do some stuff. That's okay. You, you, yeah. You start it. That's, that's a big thing. And don't rush it. Take it slow. And, and Angel says, okay, I have your live posted on the Facebook and community tab. Thank you, Angel. I appreciate that. I really do. And, and, and um, I let my little iron out, out to, to to my sister-in-law, and she changed the temperature. It was like, it's not getting hot. It's not <laughs> broken, is it? But it's, it's because the temperature was changed. Uh, uh, I to my glue's wanting to be all wishy-washy. It's like it's too new. There I want go. it to harden sooner, but it wants to move around. But you know what, Herb? You did pretty good for what for one-handed. Yes. Really good. Well, I couldn't do it with five. So <laughs> I'm really proud of you. Yes. And you should be proud of yourself. He says, and to be honest, and yeah. I did better than I thought I would.
I do have um, Fabri-Tac glue, which I, I can I could have used to to adhere the fabric to the cardboard. But I wanted to try this um, iron-on method with the Mod Podge and see how it worked. I've never seen that. Usually, I just take um, fusible web. Yeah, yeah. I, I have some of that somewhere. Um, I just don't know where. But I've never heard of the Mod Podge thing. That's interesting. They, they do it with um, napkins. Really? So, so I was trying, I was thinking of, you know, now I have to put heat on this side to, to, to flatten out the cardboard. I, I, I didn't think of that, but I was just, I was just trying something different. Because why not, right? That's right. Pam. Take your time, Herb. <laughs> and John said that uh, Herb might finish a project quicker on his show than he can. It's well, I believe that, John. That, that I believe. Yeah. Are you working on Nancy's tonight? <laughs> John's not going to come talk to me anymore. He's holding my, 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 my portrait hostage. Yes. Yeah, I think so. Well, what's the ransom? I don't know. That's oh, sorry. This is this is too much work. I'm gonna I'm gonna add a little bit of, of this fabric tack, and then we'll go from there. I'm taking a different method. He goes. I need time, proper time yeah. to complete it. Hi, Crafty Annie. Thanks Hi, Crafty Annie. What have you been up to today? I know it's still sealed. I'm thinking I might want to use I'm, my I'm just waiting in anticipation until you open the box. Because there's some things in there that you didn't order. <gasps> Ooh. Now we all want to know. <laughs> John, now you have to get it finished so that we can know what else is in the box. There, there's one item that, that, that I have. Oh, I, I put the glue on the wrong side. Oh, well. That's fine. There's one item that when I was packing, cleaning up my desk... I found it on my desk, so it didn't make it to the box. So I guess I have to make another box for him. Oh, Crafty Anna said, oh, Nancy, my granddaughter loved her bunnies. She said, oh, they kiss. <laughs> and Angel said, I'm still waiting for my murder craft yarn ball from John. And John said, I know, surprises in the box and the anticipation is actually killing me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, John, how long is it going to take for you to finish hers? And I'm going to ask the logical questions. We'll see if he actually answers me. <laughs> okay, guys. When we get to 12 people here viewing, I'm going to show the history lesson. Because it is cool. What are we at? 10. 10. Woo! We need two more people. If I'm doing nothing else, five hours plus drive time. 
And she said that she knows what I, and Crafty Annie says she knows what I'm working on, but what is Nancy working on? Um, Nancy don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm experimenting because I've, I, I've covered um, with composition notebooks before with fabric, but mm -hmm. I've never covered cardboard alone with fabric. So I'm doing what one of these guys right here. I'll show you. I have these little um, these little notebooks that hold um, these little miniature the high the junior legal pads that that actually slide out. So I'm I'm doing one of these with the Coca Cola fabric, but I'm not sure how I'm gonna make that band with fabric and glue. But we'll see. We'll see. Cliff's in the house. Hi, Cliff. Thanks Hello, for stopping Cliff. by. He's peeking in. Okay, guys, that's got us to 11. Crafty Annie said she really likes that idea. So this this is what it's going to, so far, is looking like. Okay, so, hey, Karen's in the house now too, and we've got it at twelve. Oh, All we got right. it! Don't forget to hit that thumbs up too as you as you come in. Yeah, you know you're gonna love yeah. it. Okay, let me iron this really quick, and then we're gonna go to our history lesson. It's a two-parter, but each part's really short, and it's interesting, but. Hello, Nina. Hi, Nina. Thanks for stopping by. She said that she got me to 10. You guys are so great. Oh, wait, we just dropped. Oh, oh no. But you, you had it at 12. I did have it at 12. Okay. Bef oh, it's back at 12. Before I show it, though, <laughs> I do want to like let everybody know that I did this in a hurry. So video and sound quality are not great but just try to listen to the information and here we go part one who was mr small albert small was born in england in 1885 and came to the united states in 1903 in 1907 he married eva clements who was also from england the couple lived in ottawa illinois mr small operated heavy machinery and handled explosives in the sand pits of the Ottawa Silica Sand Company. In his spare time, Mr. Small worked on his collections and did many interesting arts and crafts. Among his collections were stamps, tropical fish, 100 cactus plants, and 3,000 salt and pepper shakers. His artistic hobbies included building wooden chests with inlay designs, painting in oils and watercolor, designing and piecing quilts by hand, and even tattooing people. He also enjoyed traveling by train around the country. How Mr. Small began quilting reveals his sense of humor and how much he loved a challenge. During the 1930s, there was a quilt mania in this country. Mr. Small's wife, Eva, belonged to a quilting group Mr. Small sometimes teased members of the group about their work, so one day they challenged him to do better. When Mr. Small finished piecing his first quilt in 1938, his work was featured in the newspapers and magazines. The quilt, which is 102 inches long by 84 inches wide, is made up of 36,000 141 pieces sewn together with 3,000 yards of thread. Each piece is a tiny hexagon measuring one half inch across. Mr. Small spent 14 months sewing together the pieces. Small liked his first try at quilting, but decided to challenge himself to make a second quilt in 1939. His second quilt was 116 inches by 87 inches and contained 63,460 
tiny hexagons. He made each hexagon only three eighths of an inch across. As small. Is that uh, why his yeah. name is Mr. Small? <laughs> that's what, what I just think that's hilarious. Okay, now for part two. When a woman wrote for his pattern so that she could copy it, Mr. Small decided to make a third quilt. He wanted to be certain that no one could match him. His third quilt, called Mosaic, measures 86 inches by 95 inches. There are 15.08 hexagons in each square inch of the quilt and the hexagons are so small that six of them fit under a dime. Mr. Small sewed for four hours a day, six days a week, for over four years to finish the quilt. See if you can guess how many pieces are in this quilt by using a particular math problem. Here's some help. Multiply together the two measurements, length and width, of the quilt to get its total area in inches. Multiply the quilt's total area by the number of hexagons per square inch to get the total number of hexagons in the quilt. The solution, 95 inches times 86 inches equals 8,170 square inches making up the whole surface of the quilt. 8,170 square inches times 15.08 hexagons per square inch equals 123,203 hexagons. That's really remarkable. In 1951, one of the headlines on a Ripley's Believe It or Not newspaper column read, Albert Small makes a mosaic quilt with the largest number of pieces ever sewed. Mr. Small probably enjoyed reading that headline since he was determined that his quilts were not to be outdone. So is, is everybody one? surprised or shocked or... Is he, is he still number one? I don't know. Gentry asked the same question. I don't know. Uh, as far as I can see, yeah. As far as Gentry can see, yeah. Not sure it's wow. something that somebody would want to challenge. That's just a lot. It is a lot. Yeah, and yeah. you don't get any money from Ripley's. <laughs> nope. So that's 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 um determination to 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 try to beat that. I mean, wow. That's, that's crazy. Let's see. Cliff said, starts a 300,000 piece chain mail piece. Not. <laughs> <laughs> but why not? You could be in Ripley's Believe It or Not, Cliff. I mean, You'll be I well wonder known. what his wife thought. I mean, was she proud of him? Was she annoyed? Did she ever see him during that time that he was making those clothes? Karen wants to know, so Kimberly, when are you going to make it? Uh, yeah, funny. Show, show one of your hexagons. <laughs> yeah, I mean, these and, are and huge each of his hex comparison. Each, each of those hexagons had 15 little ones in it. Yes. Or smaller, maybe, because it was one across. inch. It was an inch across, and these and are about one and a half inches across. Oh, so even smaller than that. Oh, gosh. yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, it is. But it's also beautiful. Yeah. It's a cool story. Cliff says he doesn't have enough money to get that many rings. I don't know that I have enough money or stash even. And I've got a big stash to, to make all those. Yeah. I, I, that's just. You know who else has got a big stash? Who has a big stash? Sam Elliott. Sam Elliott. <laughs> Karen, Karen wants to know where you got this Coke fabric because she hasn't seen it. In my stash. <laughs> so that means that I either bought it a hundred years ago 
for somebody and forgot about them or somebody gave it to me and I don't remember who, yes. <laughs> but I, I feel very confident that it is definitely out of the market now. I'm yeah, cause sorry. She, cause she's, cause she says she, she has a, um, a collection of cook fabrics and she hasn't seen this one. I'm sorry, Karen. I will keep that in mind though. If I ever come across it again. She said there was a woman in Joanne Friday. She made a yo-yo quilt block. It was so pretty. Yeah, yo-yos can be really pretty. And Crafty Annie said, Nancy, did you see what she said about felt on the inside of the cover to make it stiffer? Yeah, this is chipboard. So, because it's, it's the same, it's the same cardboard that I used here. So it's, it's pretty, pretty stiff. stiff. Yeah. Cliff says he'd need uh, $1,400 to get the 3,000 ring, the, the 300,000 rings, rather. Okay, start saving, Cliff. That's right. Start walking the parking lots looking for dimes and pennies. <laughs> But that's why, I mean, after watching, and I've seen that, I've read it before. After reading it again and sharing it, it was like, can I really complain about the tediousness of this? No. I really no. can't. I can't. Yeah, but he brought that mess on himself. Yes, he did bring that on himself. You're right. Yeah, nobody, nobody made him, right? No, but I mean, clearly he must have enjoyed it. It couldn't have been all that tedious for him. Because I don't think that he would have. I mean, once he did the first one, he'd made his point to his wife and her friends. Yeah. You know, but then he had to do it, you know, he had bigger to, and better or smaller and more complicated or. He's one of those guys. I did it once. Let me try it again. I wonder who he said, hold my beer to. <laughs> well, if he was doing that tiny stuff, I don't think he was drinking. <laughs> he may have been drinking when he came up with the idea. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. But I admire him. Hi, Darcia. And, you know, I really, when David and I first got together, he did have this impression in his head. Oh, Nancy, that's looking really, really great. That looks awesome. But he had an impression that, you know, that quilting was mainly for women and mainly for older women, you know, because that's what society had told him. So, I mean... I think it's great to see, I mean, women are constantly striving to do so-called men's things. And I think it's awesome to see men accomplish so-called women's things. That's the, the same thing with, um, with crochet. People think that it's, it's an old lady um, thing. Yeah, they do. But based on David's assessment about quilting not being for wimps and what Albert Small did, I guess he was pretty far from wimpy. Yeah. Well, he, just his job. That's true. I mean, his job was like, you know, explosives and all that uh -huh. stuff. He probably found it to be kind of relaxing. Crafty Annie After. says it shocks a lot of men to find out that the first knitters were only men. Yeah. And actually the first quilters, I believe, were men as well. Back in the day. People forget that um, 
that a lot of what was worn underneath the suits of armor was quilted um, material. Mm -hmm. I tried to turn David into a quilter. It didn't work. <laughs> I'm trying to turn uh, Earl into a, a, a crocheter, and and now he wants to buy this expensive set of of, of crochet hooks because uh -huh. he says he he wants a manly hook. <laughs> 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 so he saw a set of rosewood arm hooks. Oh, I like rosewood. And he goes, and, and he and it, and it comes in a satchel. <laughs> he he likes that part. Yeah, it comes in a satchel. In. I'm sorry. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a glue this little. I was heating up my glue gun. Did anybody else come in that I missed? If so, please say hi to me. Hi. Well. <laughs> hi. <laughs> you guys are funny. So here's, funny. Here's the center of my flower. Crafty Annie said that Earl doesn't want a heavy hook, but pretty ones are allowed. Heavy hooks tire your hands out more. And Darcy, well, I, I told him he, he, I told him he he needs to um continue you know working on the chain until before he buys any new hooks. Yes, that's true. That's true. But but, but you know he's a, he's a man. He's stubborn. There 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 she is. I think I, 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 the center is too big, so I might put a little um, jewel in there. I think it looks sweet. <laughs> John says, tell Earl that rosewood does not sound manly, but ironwood does. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. He's got a point. But rosewood is pretty. It's very, very pretty. That's what that's what attracted him to to the to the rosewood. Darcia, I'm making a non crazy hexy project because we just did the history of of a crazy person, w which is still crazy to me though. <laughs> what my project is? Yes. You can't knock it until you try it. I I've I done some yo yos. You I, have I, to try it. I th I've done some yo-yos and that's just, that was a lot of work. <laughs> Imagine sewing a hexi to another hexi to another hexi 305 times. Or oh, how many of those, how, how, however many you have there? 353. I was close. You were very close. I, just ha I had numbers um, reversed. I like your number better. Because <laughs> you could do it faster. So I'm gonna put this to the side here, so while, while it, it dries up a little bit before I go on the inside. So I, what I'm going to do is cut four inch squares and start get, getting my, my my little package ready when I when I start getting more more fabrics. John, you will be able to crochet something like that. You're just getting started. Nancy's been at it for a little while. Just a little bit. Yes, forty forty three years. Yeah. <laughs> You'll get there. I, I have no doubt. And Karen said her niece makes quilts like that. She started years ago and nope, so done with it. <laughs> there are all sorts of different types of quilting. As a matter of fact, Nancy thought it was interesting. She learned a new technique when I was making my chenille. And you know what? I couldn't find that. You couldn't so find what? The, that, that rotary tool that you used? Yeah. I know I had one. So um, I, I'm not sure where it went. I think I'm make it a four, 
like I said, a four inch square. So let me line it up here on the mat. There we go. So I don't know if I threw it out or it's still in storage or because I, I remember that little blue thing attached to the rotary tool. And I'm like, what in the world is this thing? So I pulled it off. <laughs> Cliff said, my little chainmail flags are 162 rings in five square inches. And then he said, I mean, 162 in two square inches. I mean, yeah, that's small. So if you wanted to do something really big like Albert Small did, you'd have to, you'd have to do more. <laughs> I want his name small. I know. I know. It's amazing that his name is small. Yeah, that's the part of, uh, that makes me laugh too. So I guess he 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 thought since his name was small, he had to make something small. I I don't know, maybe. Cause um my my channel name Little Treasures, um was Little Treasures before I started doing miniatures. Hey, Miss Pam. Hi, Miss Pam. Garcia said that she made a tea time quilt and it came out really pretty. I named a quilt that I made tea time. I did. But it, there wasn't anything tea related to it, which is what I called it. And Cliff said baby steps. Absolutely baby steps. So Pam, what are you doing? Anything fun? There's one square. Well, I still, I'll probably do it like this so the Coca-Cola is straight up on that side. I'm going to take a minute and acknowledge all the lurkers before I start sewing on this. Because I love my lurkers. I love my lurkers. And this one here was sent to me by Miss Mishi. It is really cute. It is really, really cute. Craft Annie said, just call me Turkey Lurkey. Gobble, gobble. Oh, now I feel like I have to make a video with a turkey in there hiding in the grass. <laughs> There's number two. Yes, turkeys are in the straw. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not going to um, sew them together until, until I get all all the 24 pieces. Mm -hmm. That way I can, or, I can arrange them to, to, to you know, uh, you know, on purpose, a certain yeah. pattern, whatever. I have to figure out where this goes. It's been too long. Joanne uh, Jordan has some very um, quick piecing quilt top. I I do have one of hers set aside the um, the jelly roll drag race. Crafty Annie said, "Hey ladies, asking for my sis. Have any of you ever seen jelly bean print fabric?" Yes, as a matter of fact, I have. I think um, I have, but I don't remember where. I don't remember if I have some or if I've just seen it. But it, but if I do have it again, it's from a really long time ago. And Karen said last summer she went to see her brother. We went to a secondhand store and she got six baby quilts never used for one dollar. I could not pass up that one is Hello Kitty. It breaks my heart, though, when I see them in the thrift stores. They need to be saved by somebody who cherishes them. So thank you for doing that. Because they, they cost so much, and it takes so much time to make, and then they just end up 
out in the world for nothing. So what, they, what, what makes me upset is the, the crochet ones that, that people find at thrift stores. And of course, they're, they're saving them too, but they get them for four or five dollars. Yeah. And that's not, a, not even a skein of yarn. Exactly. Exactly. I'm, I'm, and, and, and all the work that went into it. I know. It's tragic. It's really tragic. Just breaks my heart. And we Save have Sally So. I mean, excuse me. <laughs> Shelly sews. Wow, that's going to be a tongue twister for me. Hi, Shelly. Thanks for stopping by. Hello, Shelly. And Nina said, tell Darcia that that was one of the first between. But, but, okay, I need to stop talking. Batik quilts that she made. And Shelly said that she has a quick question. Does anyone else find the background distracting? It's beautiful, but it's just her vertigo maybe finding it distracting. I don't know. It is kind of hard to tell the difference between the background. It might be distracting. Everybody speak up. If you want me to change it to something plain, I will absolutely do that. Absolutely. No, Cliff, I'm not going to try to say that. <laughs> so here's the four pieces that I already have so far. Oh, this one that needs to be ironed. Hold on. Here we go. Those are the four that I have so far. Mine doesn't uh, match. <laughs> Spill some yellow paint on it. One of these things is not like the other. But you know what? They're, they're, uh, uh, whatever fabric comes in is going to go in the bag. So I'm just going to stack them up. There we go. And you, you know Nancy has to do something special, right? Yeah. Of course Nancy's going to do something special for these little blocks. So I don't lose them. Here we go. We got some chipboard here. I'm going to cut by at four and a half inches. And make a little folder. Because why not? I know I shouldn't be doing this with the rotary cutter, but it was out already. Well, you can get it. I, You know what? I'm going to be cutting all my stuff with the rotary blade. And I'll replace the blades. Because I'm horrible with an X-Acto knife. So you got to do what you, you know, are comfortable with. Hmm. I used to have two of them, two rotary cutters, one specifically for paper and cardboard and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And one just for, you know, like you would with scissors. Well, I have, I have the ones from Dollar Tree. Uh huh. And what I do is take the blade off of that one and put it on this, on this Ulfa one. Cause I don't like the, the, the handle of the Dollar Tree one. But yeah. I have $1. twenty-five. It's a good blade. Yeah, you're right. It is. Karen wants to know if this is going to be a table runner. Nope, it's not. I'll show you what it's going to be. Well, I'll kind of show you. Five and a half. It is going to be a pin quilt. And if you don't know what a pin quilt is, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a quilt that you hang on your wall. And you put all your pins on it. Keep them all nice and organized. And if you go to a lot of quilt shops and a lot of events, they used to have a lot of pins and stuff that you would get. So 
that's or if you go to you know like the Disney, Disney. park. Yeah, they have a lot of look, pins. Look, here's here's my little folder. Oh, so cute. Wait, wait, I gotta But Karen, this particular one, it's going to be of and this is just a, a rough drawing, but it's a it's a waterfall. So it's gonna be a waterfall and Mr. Pajama Quilter David is gonna get to put his pins and stuff from places he's been in the Navy and stuff like that. He's going to get to, to use that for that. But this is. Oh, she said that she collects the yarn ones. Yeah, exactly. And Angel said that she loves my little thread holder that Nancy made me. So do I. I'm not going to share. It's all mine. But Nancy can make you one. <laughs> I have one um, in stock. If anybody's interested, that's not painted yet. The one that Miss Kimberly has is 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 um, I, I stained it with the antique Waverly wax. But the one I have is raw wood still, and I can make it any color you want. Yeah, let her know. Let her know. And Shelly says that a pen quilt's a cool idea. She has lots of pens. Exactly. And, you know, they get piled up or in boxes or whatever. So just a little quilt that you can hang on your wall and you can just pin them. The one that I just showed yeah. you, it was just made out of squares and diamond shapes. So, oh, and Cliff said, thank you for your service, Mr. Quilter. My privilege. That's his privilege. There we go. Okay, that's that's that that's so now I have this. It's gonna be on, on my desk, and when when I get more pieces, I'll just open this up and add more pieces in there. Well, now I just want to send you more fabric, something <laughs> with yellow, maybe something with yellow and red, so we can kind of. Well, if if if, if if I don't get, because I'm not gonna wait all year to to, to get all twenty four pieces. So if in a couple months that I don't have all 24 pieces, I got fabric that I can cut up. You know what I mean? Yeah, but wouldn't it be better if it was from people that you knew? Yeah, but um, I, I did a, a call for, for crochet flowers for my project bag, and I got four. So. Well, I couldn't send you one. <laughs> Well, that, that that was before before you 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 came onto the scene. No, it wasn't. I remember. Wasn't it? I remember the conversation. Oh, okay. But I still couldn't do it. And I love you, but not enough to to learn how to make it. Just so I could send you one. No, that's fine. Speaking of sending, but, but, I, but I also I said it didn't have to be crochet. It could be any flower. Oh, well, that maybe I can do. <laughs> That I can possibly do. Speaking of sending you stuff that I made for you, so I think it was yesterday I, I said to David, I said, hey, you didn't give me the, the postal information from when you mailed Nancy's package. Do you have it? He's like, nope, because I haven't done it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay, because now maybe I can put something else in the package. Oh, cool. And we are, and we are sealing, we're taping up the box because I'm concerned that the box will open up and one of the little butterflies will like end up like, you know, on the Escaping. edge. Of, yeah, I don't know. Escaping. I hate those things now. They'll be escaping. <laughs> yes. Flying away. But they did yeah, turn I don't out. Have this much left. So now let me, let me iron this piece. What I need to do get, get me an actual pressing board instead of the one I, I, I made up here. Th this is a piece of Insulbrite. <laughs> and you're ready oh, wow. for what, what I put it on? One of my projects. <laughs> so, okay. I, 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 I put it on this project because the, the the it didn't come out nice because there's there's bubbles all over the the paper. Yeah. yeah. So I, I go, you know what? I need a piece of board. 
and it's starting to um <laughs> it's starting to get a little um what, what's, what's that called warped yeah so I, I need an actual one i i had one but um when we left the the the, the old house yeah i put it up against the wall in the bathroom on the outside of the you know in the living you know where the refrigerator was mm -hmm. and everything that was on that wall got left behind Oh no! That, that, that included my, my cutting mats. Remember, I had I had I was missing cutting mats at the beginning. Yeah. And, and one of them was my um, because I had the one that had that flipped from Joanne's that had a cutting mat on one side and and the pressing. Yeah, um, I have one of those. Yeah. Mhm. Mm that's what I had. So I I I had to improvise. So here we go. I got a measure. I think I remember it's uh, 11 by eight and a quarter. So, so I want to know has anybody been watching the. Um, I think it was we were the lucky ones on Hulu. It takes uh, place during the Holocaust. No, I haven't seen that. Yeah, I started watching it, but I didn't wait long enough. Usually, when something comes out and they they come out, you know, like it's a mini series, and they put one new episode out each week. I usually oh, try I to wait until they're all out before I watch it, so I can just binge it. Same here. But I didn't wait long enough. And so now I'm waiting. Ah. Uh, but yeah. it's really yeah. good so far. Yeah, Earl doesn't like to have to wait. But um, he, he also doesn't want to know. He doesn't, especially when he knows that it's out there, he doesn't yeah. want to wait for that either. <laughs> I was watching, now this one clearly I waited for, because it's old, but I don't make a habit of like going to the movies or anything, so often I am totally unaware of things, movies and such, and so I watched, this weekend I watched the trilogy, Unbreakable, Split, and glass. I haven't heard of those. They're they're action films, and they kind of seem the first two sort of seem unrelated, but then the third one brings it all together. Okay. John being funny. Cliff, Mr. Coulter, do you mean Earl two point <laughs> No, there could only be one Earl. Oh. You, 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 you guys don't want two Earls. Oh. They might be similar, though, but they're, they're yeah. different. They're different. <coughs> John. Uh. Per Miss Kimberly, she says that David and Earl should not be in the same room. Well, yeah, I believe that. So I, 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 let's put it this way. Two Earls in the same room? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Of course, I don't know that other members that might be on my chat right now should be in the room with Earl or David either. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I agree with you. <laughs> Not going to say names. Just going to throw that out there. He goes, then we start this conversation or discussion about Earl and Earl 2.0 about three months ago. 
I don't know. We're trying to, 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 to you know, not um remember all that. <laughs> okay, well, now I, I, the fabric does look really good with your iron. Yes, it does. It does match that. I hear ba a backup, um, whatchamacallit, outside. Who's backing oh. up? It, it, it's 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 not it's not us because we have nothing to to back up. <laughs> I want to know if anybody else is working on anything right now, as we're talking, and what it is. Takes a job to keep tabs on an earl. John, you're silly. He, he's, he's, he's been busy with his mom, so he hasn't been showing up on the lives as much. So that, that that's that's why. Like he was before. Because when he does get home, he's so tired, he just sits in the recliner and falls asleep. Oh, Nancy, I saw something what did that you I thought was interesting. What? And if I and, and if you're interested, I'll try to find the video. Oh, okay. But it's for your miniatures. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good night, baby. This person thought that they were ordering these um, tiny, uh, you know, balloon animals uh -huh. that are like in the shape of a dog. Yes, I've seen them. But they were too big for initially what they thought they were going to use it for. Then they covered it with flock. Well, they did one that they covered with the, the flocking stuff, the 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 grass stuff ones. Uh huh. And it was a topiary. Ooh. Right. And then they covered another one to make it look like stone. You know, like how they have like the stone lions and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not saying that you need to get the dogs or anything, but that might, you know, bring no, on I've another been, idea. I've, I've been wanting to get some flock. Okay. I'm looking through my, my, my stash of, of interfacing, fusible. I know I had some... That's a stabilizer, stabilizer, fuse and tear. Hmm. Where else would I have put it? Tell me, tell me. I don't know. Crafty Annie says she's been working on a dishcloth, dish towel, and dishcloth set for sun. Got the cloth done, working on the towel now. Making Very it real. Nice. Because that boy hates yellow, so every time he uses it, he will think of me. <laughs> <laughs> yellow is a family joke. I love that. <laughs> and John's working on his chain. Good job. The more you do it, the better. I remember when my mom started teaching me. She would have me make this really, really long. And by the way, hi, Mom. I know you're watching. She'd have me make this Hi, really, Mr. really long chain, and then she would just pull it out, and I'd start back over and over and over again. But it really helps. Hold on, hold on. What's this? What's this? What's this? Where's the the label? Where's the label? Label. Where are you? Wonder under. What's that? That's feasible web. I 
found it. <laughs> Angel said she was thinking of getting one of those yarn tension rings because she has a hard time with it. I've never used one, but I know that a lot of people really like them. I, I, I tried it, and I guess since I, I, I've crocheted for so long, it, it was uncomfortable for me. So I was supposed to do a, a review on it, and, and, and I, I lost it. <laughs> and Nina is cutting up scrap fabric into two-inch squares. Ooh. Thank what are you going to make with those two-inch squares? Yeah, that's my question, well, Nina. Tell, tell, tell. What? Look at all this. Look at, I don't know where I got this from. Maybe I bought it years ago. and Because and, it, it, it came in the, in the, in the how you call it? This this load of uh, boxes from the storage, it was in yeah. there. So um, I, I don't know where I got it from. I've had it for a while. Okay. So. So. Yay! I, I I didn't want to use glue on the inside because I didn't like the way the glue um looked. Crafty Annie says um she found them really clumsy. Now you're gonna. But yeah. that her sister loves hers, so. I, th I think it's definitely a to each his own kind of thing. Yeah. And even the way that you hold the yarn and, and stuff, because Nancy holds it different than Pam and I do. Uh-huh. And a lot of people you, you hold the hook differently, too. So, so try out try all the things. I say if it doesn't work one way, um, go find another um, video that shows a different way and see if that one works. Until you find the one that you like. Exactly. Because Earl doesn't like the way I that I, that, that 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 I hold the yarn. So I told him to go online and look look at other other people's ways, but he hasn't gone back to that. So, and like I said, lately he, he hasn't had a, much time to do much of anything. But there's more more than one way to do something. Absolutely. Darcia says that she has to leave for a minute, but we'll have us running and listening. Thanks, Darcia. I appreciate that. Thank you. And Nina says that she's making four patches for a scrap quilt. No pattern yet. Cool. Oops. I couldn't find it. My other ruler that has the metal edge in it. This is the old ruler, so if it if it's nicks it, okay. <laughs> hey, Here we go. Um, Jesse, sweetie, could you go get my project from Tuesday? Because I don't think everybody has seen it, and I'm a little proud of myself. I, I saw it. In my miniature. I saw it. Yes, I saw, you saw it. it. I saw it. It turned out so cute, didn't it? Yes. I, I know it. I did a miniature bookcase inside an Altoy, a mini Altoys tin, but that's 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 more detailed than, than what I did because all I did was little books. Okay, so <laughs> if you don't know, eventually I'm going to do um, a haunted house, and so I'm doing these little kits to get practice on doing miniatures. And so here's one side of it. Is it clear? I can't tell. Yeah, wait, yeah, right there. Okay. And then here's the back side of it too, with the owl. That's too Isn't cool. It? 
It's so cute. Look at, it, it's it's about the size that I made this guy, but you you have your books are even smaller than mine, and it has mm -hmm. all those little itty bitty um additions to it. Yeah, it's. I don't have. I, I I made it simple. I just did books. <laughs> Little square things, that's it. But that was that's mm. well I really I have a it, it I have a kit. I have a kit in storage that's at 124 scale that I got from Hobby Lobby. Yeah. So who who knows when I'll get it and, and if 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 I'll be um brave enough to to to, to... Oh I think you will. I think you'll be brave enough. And I came up with a name for the house. And David has agreed to write the story for it. Because it's going to have a story. Cool. And the house is Vincent Manor. And it's kind of an homage to Vincent Price. Because, I mean, hello. Talk about creepy. Um, who's Vincent Price? Are you serious? Yes. All right. I'm, I'm going in and then I will share. Nancy. Karen says, I saw a woman. woman that took just a did me in for the whole day. Karen says, I saw a woman t take a fabric soap bottle and cut the side of it and made a laundry room. Yeah, I've seen those. I'm sorry, I'm not into, into you know. And and Crafty Annie says that looks um that looks awesome, Kimberly. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Do this and we will. And obviously, we don't need this. It's a commercial. Boy, I love it. Ah, come on, stay on there. All right. Okay, I'm going to share if we have to. I bet you know who Vincent Price is and just won't know that you know. That, that that's that my time. problem. That's my problem. All right, here we go. I'm Vincent Price. What an earthly horror did that girl gaze upon? Okay, I've seen him. Manner of incredible thing walking. Okay, the... I didn't know his yeah. name. Yeah, I didn't know and his name. And he's the one that. Did that, um, oh, that intro to Michael Jackson's Thriller. Okay. And if you ever watched um, Here Comes Peter Cottontail, you know, that really, really old one. Mm -hmm. He was um, right. Iron Tail. Or at least the boys. But yeah. Craft Danny says it was her first movie crush, and Karen said that she loved all of his movies and still watched him while babysat as a kid. Uh, yeah, so I just think he's kind of like the ultimate creepy person. But yet you're still curious about him. So, so I'm naming my house Vincent Manor in honor of him. Okay. Yeah. And Nancy thinks I'm weird because no. she knows about what's going to go on in this house. No, because um, um, when I used to go live for, for my miniatures on Tuesdays, yeah, before I went uh, live by myself, I was going live with Miss Jerry from the Happy Hoarder, and yes. she was doing and she was doing a haunted house. That's right. I've seen some of those. So <gasps> Jay Mary's in the house. I'm so glad you came. You just showed one of my favorite actors. 
J. Mary, you missed the history lesson earlier. Yeah, go, go watch the replay. Um, towards yes. The beginning. Yeah, she'll have to watch the replay. It's very interesting. Don't miss it. It's you not even five minutes long. I thought that was Charlton Heston. Were they both in it? No, that was Charles and Heston. Unless he was, he was also in there. Yeah. And he was in Scooby-Doo, too. Yeah, I mean, he's, yeah, absolutely. He's amazing. So I just, that had to be part of it. Now we're removing the backing on it. You know, it might help me to know what I'm doing if I had this in the right position. Just saying. I now remember why I bought this feasible web. When I was when I make the the, the Nancy Drew bags, yeah, there's a, there's a few sections that, that I that I fused some fabric together. Oh, okay. But that that bag takes me forever to make, and, and I wasn't making enough to. To cover the time. <laughs> it stopped being fun to make. Well, that's Maybe. not good. No. No, we don't want it to stop being fun. What I what I was thinking of doing this year is to make some, mm -hmm. and just put them on the website. Because every time I get an order and I start it, I dread it. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. Yeah. That's that's definitely not good. No, so it takes me forever to make it. So I, I told earlier, we, we can get the, the, the stuff for it, and then I'll just make it and then post it, and then whoever gets it, gets it, gets it. There you go. You get what you get, and you don't throw a fit. <laughs> yes, he was in Edward Scissorhands. I'd forgotten about that, Shelly. And J. Mary, yeah. Oh, okay, Vincent Price got killed by Moses, she thinks. So he was only at the beginning of the movie, a taskmaster maybe. Okay. okay. Well, it, it has been, oh, I don't know, a couple of decades or more since I've watched it. Yeah. This piece is when I read this, I'm, I'm heating it up maybe to, to loosen the glue up a little bit. There we go. Well, you're struggling with that, aren't you? Huh? I said you're struggling with it a little bit, aren't you? Just a little. Just a little bit. Well, it becomes a little bit more difficult when it's gotten older or yeah. in the heat and stuff like that. So. Okay, this is the front. This is the front. Okay. So I don't know if you can tell the shiny yeah. on it. I can see it. Yeah. So we're going to see which one I want to do. Now that's too many upside downs over there. That's good. Angel said that the Wax Museum was the first time she saw Vincent Price. Okay, that would creep me out. <laughs> that would really terrify me to no end. What, seeing wax figures of people? Well, that, but then especially wax figures of people who can be scary. Oh, yeah, that would just, yeah. <laughs> okay, so how awful is it that I'm thinking that if it took him four years, four hours a day, six days a week, if I'm actually thinking in my head of trying to calculate how many pieces he sewed together each day. 
or per hour or oh. per minute. You know, I'm going to end up figuring that out later. Yeah, you have to take the four years divided by the number of pieces and then the, divided by the number of hour, days divided by the number of hours. Yeah, I'm going to do it. It's going to happen. Are you kidding? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not kidding. I'll be figuring that out before I go to sleep tonight. Yeah, because if not, she won't sleep. That's exactly it. It won't take that long. That's basic math. I just want to know. Last Man on Earth, was that the movie you showed? I don't remember the name, but he was Honestly, living among zombies. I don't know. It was part of a montage that I found, so I'm not sure. Did you read um, Shelly's comment? It says, you sound like you have the skin I had for three weeks. If I talk um, much, I lose my voice and the coughing is terrible. Well, actually, I've been going on with this for many months now. It's, it's a thing. I have a lot of allergies and I take a lot of medicine and I have asthma and so my lungs and my throat and stuff, they get sick quite a bit. I actually feel fine today. I just don't sound great. So I, I'm sorry. I apologize. Oh, the, according to Crafty Annie, the Wax Museum was a great movie. Oh. It, it wasn't an actual Wax Museum. Is that oh, right, okay. Angel? House of Wax. Is that right, Angel? The House of Wax? That's the name of the movie Vincent Price was in, House of Wax. Yeah, David just looked it up. He said it's the House of Wax. Yeah, that part in Michael Jackson's thriller was brilliant. See, the... The glue didn't completely glue on this side, and it's bubbling. Oh. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm glad I found the fusible for the inside. Oh, well. See right around here, there, you see? It's not yeah. fusing right, very good here. Shelly says, oh, no, I have a lot of allergies, too. I take two shots a week for them. Oh, honey, you don't have to apologize at all. I know how you feel. I used to take shots, too. I, I, they weren't successful, but I might give them a go at some time later on in the future once I get a car. This, 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 this is um, um, my old mat that my... my Hold on. Let me move my camera. Hold on a second. Okay. I don't know if you can see. No, you can't see it that way. Let me. Here, here's, here's my real mat. <laughs> this is my filming mat. Okay. I am so, so off the for now because of that. <laughs> the vertigo is back. I'm sorry. I'm not sure what to do here now. And Crafty Annie said that he's also in the Wax Museum as a figure. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. But, you know, it might be fun to have a, a Vincent Price marathon one weekend. I'm not liking this. Aww. It's Can right here on the spine that is bubbling up. Can you cover it up with something? Like lace or ribbon or metal or... Lace know. probably. Because every time I see that, it's going to bother me. Um, where did I put my lace? 
I think I don't have white lace. I have off white lace. Yeah. And this is white. And that would bother me too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it would. You know it would. It'd bother me as well. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I have metal, but I don't think the metal is going to because it's real thick. Okay. Let's see, I'll show you. I have this metal trim that I got from Dollar Tree, but I've I've tried all kinds of glue, and it, and it, it, won't, it won't keep it down. I've tried hot glue. I've tried super glue. I've tried um, E6000. I've tried everything. Uh, Annie, no. Haunted houses and scare houses don't bother me. Um, I actually, when I'm having trouble sleeping, I will turn on horror movies to help me go to sleep. <laughs> But something about wax figures, because it's like they can look so real and you kind of expect them to move. And now that bothers me. Clowns <laughs> bother me. But mannequins? no, mannequins don't bother me. They don't look real enough usually. All right, just just think on it for a second. The solution will come to you. Figure out what you want to put inside that flower. What flower? Well, the the crochet flower you just made. Oh yeah, the 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 the, yeah. the, the bling I wanted to put in on the in the center. I never did find my my my, my little um rhinestones. Oh no. Annie said that she went to a haunted house with her sister about 10 years ago and she punched a guy with a chainsaw that he jumped out at her. And so he made her leave. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, hey, good instincts. Well, he, he knew that what he was getting into, right? <laughs> People get scared. I had a bunch of little rhinestone sheets that I I moved around because I was going to use them, and Nancy doesn't know where she put them. So I'm. Weren't you using some of like the like the Dollar Tree rhinestone thingies? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Day? Yeah, I, I never found them the other day. When I wanted to do the butterfly. Yeah. I was looking for those. Hold on a second. Let me grab my 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 sticker my sticker box. Thank you, honey. Big. He got me a drink. Aww. Oh, thank you, Aunt, Aunt Maria. <laughs> it's my Aunt Maria's my my sister. My sister, I said, I called her Aunt Maria, because Jay calls her Aunt Maria, so it's like. No, I get that, absolutely. <laughs> Annie said that she also goes to sleep watching horror movies, and Karen said that her daughter named Kimberly didn't like clowns, but one day she dressed up as one for a party, and she was so funny, and the kids didn't know it was her, and and he said that her oldest brother was terrified of clowns. And she said, yeah, but yeah. she did too. The purpose was to get scared. That's true. She knew what she was getting into going into that place to get scared. Yes. And Jay Mary said, sometimes reflexes just kick in. They do. They absolutely do. You have all, all my Dollar Tree stuff here with stickers, ribbons. Oh I can't find my rhinestones. Oh You're making fun of me, guys. No, I can hear that. Do you want to borrow my hairbrush? I have one that's not broken. She said, hit you with the brush, she said. Yeah. I want 
Let's see. see Where's the flower? Give you a black eye. Yes, I will give you a black eye if you keep on bothering me. <laughs> yes, we clearly promote okay. violence on this channel. Not okay. She said that it was a really okay. good setup, but they never went back because no one that, that, her that, that, that looks like a, like an like an eyeball. That does look like an eyeball. <laughs> nope. And Annie says she has a nice wooden brush, Nancy. Oh, they're offering me wooden brushes to hit you with, honey. Yay. <laughs> Who took my rhinestones? Not the cowboy. Oh, hold on a second, but the, I think they're too small. Now I've got that song in my head, Earl. Thanks a lot. What happened? I have these, but I think they're too small. They, they, they look like um diamond dots. Yeah. They're too small. They are. That's from Totally Dazzled. They have the cute little um rhinestones. Like the cowboy. Let me, let me Let's see if, if anything in here. Oh, this is too big. It's too big. No. Oh, rhinestones. If I were rhinestones, where would I hide? Why would I hide? I've got that song in my head now. What? Rhinestone oh, Cowboy. Rhinestone oh, Cowboy. Because <laughs> Earl, Earl just told me. Yes. It's a cowboy. <laughs> you know what that means, honey, right? What? You need to buy me some rhinestones. Because <laughs> 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 I can't find my rhinestones. I need rhinestones for my projects. <laughs> Um, I usually use glue with the with the um, Dollar Tree diamonds, Mary, for my projects because I don't trust that 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 adhesive on Dollar Tree stickers or anything else. Are those the ones that are found in the sky? What? What's found in the sky? Diamonds. That. Oh goodness gracious, guys! What? Um, what do I have here? No. I got all kinds of stuff, but not what I need. I'm sorry, baby. It's your fault. I'm glad I can contribute. <laughs> Hello, Dana. What in the world have you come across here? Well, <laughs> actually, it's I, I'm, I'm just. I'm just working on my hexi project here, my quilting project. And Nancy is searching high and low for missing craft supplies. While I her some pink ones. I found some pink ones. She's looking for her rhinestones. I found some. Oh, here, here we go. I think I'm, here's some black ones. They're, they're faceted. But I think with, with, with the white and the black, and the, it, it, it's going to look too much like eyes. 
So I found those two there. Maybe the other ones are here too. Let's see, let's see. Miss Angel, did you fall asleep? You haven't commented in a while. I'm awake. Yes, you're <laughs> in two locations. Nancy is in Florida. And I'm Kimberly, and I'm in Montana. Oh, good, you're still there. I missed you. You got quiet. Montana's okay, having a lot of snow, aren't they? Is Montana having a lot of snow? Uh, let me look out the window. <laughs> no, there's no snow right this second. Are you snowed in? He wants to know, are you snowed in? But that tree is leaning over more, the one that's across the road. Oh, I can't, it's going to fall on that building, that house. It's bad. Hey, hon, would you go take a picture of that tree? I found some white lace, but it's, it's really wide. Look. <laughs> that is wide. Did you hear what my husband said? I asked him if he would go take a picture of the, the tree that's leaning. What and he said, as soon as I'm done killing something. <laughs> if you don't know, my husband's playing a game. Ah. He's killing demons, so it's all good. It's all good. I guess if, good. if I can't find them with those two sets of, of, of rhinestones, I may have used them all. All right. There's a tree that you want a picture of. Right yeah, it's right across the road. You can right see it. Right 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 oh, the cowboy has them. But can you do it outside? No. Please? No. Please? No. Pretty please? Maybe. Bottle caps, twine. No, not in that door. This one here. No. That's makeup. And, and not makeup that I use. I use is makeup that I that I actually put on on my projects. You know, like um, blush and stuff. Yeah. I make them pretty. To get give them some some highlighted cheeks. Because I don't, I don't, I, I haven't used makeup in years. To accentuate your its features. <laughs> mm. Oh, there's there's one more container over here that I haven't opened. Let's see. Excuse me. Come on over. Scooch, scooch. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. This is a cute little box that my Miss Pam sent me. Aw, Angel says her internet's very bad where she's at. I'm sorry. And her TV YouTube crash. You're just telling a tough time. That's awful. The stitch markers. Oh, I know what you could put in the flower. What? One of those ladybugs or one of the bumblebees. Oh, yeah. I I have plenty of those, and I know where they are. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. See? Two minds are better than one. <laughs> it depends on who the minds belong to. Collaboration. What, honey? This guy was wearing this uh, shirt. Store. Mm -hmm. Come closer. Um, um. <laughs> you make that for me? No, I'm not gonna make that for you because you're not gonna wear that. What was that noise? You, you that was Earl you. laughing. Oh my word! <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny to him that, that that that's how he was laughing. Nope. You can buy it, and, 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 and you can wear it on, um, on your own time. 
but I'm not making that. Welcome back, Darcia. Nope. Because I'm not. Yes, I promise. What was that? It's not a fun shirt. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, those two are really enjoying arguing. Hmm? I said that you two were really enjoying arguing. And David sent me the picture of the tree. And it looks bad. And I'm going to share it. Okay, so that's the smallest bumblebee I have. Okay, we're gonna choose bumblebee or or ladybug. We'll put them both on there. The ladybug is a little smaller. I said ladybug. Guys, look at how look at how much that tree is falling. Oh my goodness! And what you can't see is, you, you see that tiny little spindly tree next to it. Just uh -huh. to the right of that is an actual building. So if oh, it goes over, it's hitting the building. It's like leading power of pizza. And we keep getting quite a bit of snow. So, I mean, I don't know why they haven't bothered to take down the tree. It's like they want a lawsuit to happen or something. I don't know. Insurance. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I got music. Cream cheese and bagels. <laughs> and the food talk has begun. Did we discuss food before this? No, we haven't. Oh my goodness, we went an hour and a, over an hour and a half before we started talking about the food. So it's Earl's fault. Yes. <laughs> He's so glad he could contribute, he said. We appreciate it, Earl. Cinnamon raisin, toasted cinnamon raisin bagel with cream cheese. Mm. Guys, I'm starting to do the math on that project. Mary wants to know if y'all are going to watch the eclipse. Got your glasses? Well, and it is Angel so says, far away I have from glasses, here. but I'm not sure I will watch it. Watch it. Can, can, can you um use your phone to, to record it without looking at it? <laughs> that is a good question. Darcy says, I will watch it on TV. <laughs> We, we're not anywhere close to being able. I think we would maybe get like 40% totality. So here we go. Here, here's the flower. Okay. Let's see. Here's the bumblebee. Wait, let me make you big so everybody can. Let me, let me, let me lower a little bit too. There, there's the bumblebee. Cute. And here's the. Ladybug. Oh, I think I like the ladybug because you can see it. It stands me, out more. Me too. I like that. And Darcia says, I mean, Crafty Annie says, I don't want to mess with my eyes. They're bad enough. <laughs> Annie, my mother, said the exact same thing when I talked to her yesterday. Because I, I have, I found the, these rhinestones, the black ones. Yeah. And I found these little rose ones. And I think that that if if these were together, that the, the other ones would have been in the same spot. And I think I've used them. Hmm. I remember you having them out. I just don't remember you using them. What did you have them out for? What, was it for your miniatures? No, I had those. I had that um the diamond dots. Ah, uh, what did you have him out for? I don't recall.
David said she's never quilted ever. This came up on her video feed. Fascinating. Oh, that's pretty cool that, that YouTube is yeah. um, sharing you out. Yeah. Well, do you do any crafts at all, Dana? Because Nancy does a whole bunch of different crafts. I only do a few. I'm trying to rein myself in. Now, Darcy is such cute, but she likes the bumblebee. Uh-oh. Too late. Crafty Annie says, hard choice, but ladybug. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Now I've got to put him, uh, put him in something. Or add, make some more flowers. Okay. Jackie reminded me that it's time for me to do my tri-bond question. Okay. So I got to, I got to pull it up. Got to create it. Okay, this is not working either. That's the front. Okay. So this one here. I'm going to switch the camera because um, Miss Dana says I do acrylic abstract painting. Ooh. So I'm, I'm going to show her. It's not abstract, but I did some acrylic painting yesterday. Oh, my hair looks like it's... Let's see. My, my camera's in the way. Hold on. I painted that yesterday on my live. My four season... And there's other stuff that somewhere around here that's painted. And I, I do miniatures, and the miniatures right there, crochet, a little bit of everything. Hello. That's my face. I didn't know what I look like. Now I can't hide because she knows what, what I look like. <laughs> got, got. Yeah, I'm going to switch my camera back over. So I do a little bit of everything. Okay. A computer mouse, a nitro funny car, a rake. What do these three have in common? A nitro funny car? Mm-hmm. The thing is, if you can figure out what two have in common, if you don't know about the third, usually that, that works. She's, she asked me to zoom in on the on the four season painting, but here we go. Don't have to zoom in. I just moved it. <laughs> well, no, I, I, there you go. So I did the winter, spring, summer, and fall, and we 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 used um Q tips oh. for the. Ladies. Yeah, we sang that for last night. Winter, spring, summer, or fall. And I, and I did that with one of my friends from the Crafty Ladies. Okay. Sorry. I'm, I'm getting I'm stuck on a, on a nitro funny car. Yeah, I got I got stuck on that, and, um, and Gentry got stuck on that. But then when David said another term for it, that kind of gave away the answer, so I can't help you with that. <laughs> oh, that's not nice. I know, I know. So just maybe focus on just the first two. Dana finished the song for us. <laughs> You've got a friend. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good song. I was singing it all last night. Just because of you. Now I've got another song in my head. Wow, you got 17, 17 thumbs up. So that means 17 people have come through here. Well, that's great. Thanks, guys. Crafty Annie's got a guess. I'm going to do my little thank you, and then we'll come back and see if we have any more guesses.
All righty. I appreciate every one of you guys. I was going to say something. I forgot. Oh, it, 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 it was, it, I don't know what it was now. <laughs> it wasn't important, I guess. That's not true. Okay, let's see. I don't know what my mind was. If any of you guys that have just gotten here in the last hour or so, make sure you watch the replay because there's a little bit of history that I did and it's quite fascinating. So you're going to want to watch it. It's about Albert Small. And right now I'm I'm doing the math for Albert Small. <laughs> I had to. Okay, I have, so he he pieced those four hours a day after he came home from his regular job. Yeah. Oh no. No, no, no. But then you, that, no, cause cause back then it wasn't not an eight uh, eight hour job. No, it was not. So the man clearly never slept. Yeah. So I'm, I'm sure his wife well, was okay. In him. fairness, he might have been in retirement by the when time he, he started that, that third one. That's a possibility. Uh, they, they said they all have points or pointers. Uh... Angel, Angel says a handler. Okay, I was going to say gas until the computer mouse and Rake stepped into the picture. <laughs> and Crafty Annie says you steer a mouse and a car, but not a rake. Some of you guys have got some really interesting thoughts. Hmm. Oh, my word. Okay. Now, <laughs> here's here's the thought that I have. So, if this is referring to how long it took him to make the quilt top, which is how I calculated it for, mm -hmm. that's one thing. And even that I find to be quite miraculous. If this was also how long it took him to make the entire quilt that means that it that it was even more than what i calculated which yeah because he because he, he had to hand quilt the whole thing yeah he had to baste it and quilt it and bind it and that sort of thing okay assuming this was just for the top which i need to make that assumption so that i don't feel as horrible about myself as i do now <laughs> it would be 25 hexes an hour wow I've done two since we've been talking Goodness. Mary says you drag a mouse you drag a car and you drag a rake <gasps> yes she got it yeah they're dra the, the nitro funny cars it's a dragster car ah See, Very good. Wait, they did that no. nitro funny car on purpose. No. Very, very good. Way to go. I'm so proud of you. Good job. Yes, they're dragsters. And, and Darcy is trying to um, justify that you can steer it, right? Because it can't do anything unless you're raking. You have something there. <laughs> okay. 
Nancy, I'm going to do the challenge one for you, which is not difficult. But this one's just for you. Salsa, rumba, tango. Repeat that. Salsa, rumba, tango. Or Excuse rumba. Dance, dances. Yes, very good. Way to go. Okay, honey, be careful. Bye-bye, Earl. Bye-bye, Earl, they said. Gracias, señoritas and señoras. <laughs> he said thank you in Spanish. No, that part I remember. <laughs> That's about all I got out of the, the, the college years. <laughs> Mucho. <laughs> now he's saying kiss me a lot. <laughs> um, no, thank you. But I appreciate you saying that. Okay, back to the picture. Let's see what I have to sew on next. I thought about laying them all out again, but every time I lay them all out. So, so wait a minute. He did how many hexes an hour? 25. Okay. But, but it took 19 per, per square inch. So he, he, he only did a, 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 a like one an and a half, half square inch a day. Something like that. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I know. No, 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 no. And not getting paid for it? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No. Definitely not. Are you sure no? Yep. <laughs> okay. That goes that way and that goes there. Angel says, oh, it's Telling Miss Dana, hit that subscribe button and like the button in the, and the like button if you're enjoying Aww. yourself. <laughs> Thanks, Angel. And Miss Mary says she's gonna she's gonna be away from her keyboard, going to heat up some soup. Yeah, I'm starting to get hungry. My helper's cooking for me today. Ooh. What's he making? Um, a recipe that I came up with. It's faux fried rice. Uh, Miss Dana wants to know who's mainly talking. Um, th th right now it's Nancy right here. I'm Kimberly. And sometimes you can hear our men in the background. Yes. <laughs> that was David. Gentry? Hi. Uh. That's my son. David's and my Earl, husband. Earl just left. And Earl Nancy's husband just left. We're both we are missing references to a very gifted man. I was gonna say we're both gals. <laughs> yeah, uh huh. <laughs> you two are so funny. Okay. I'm I'm I may um fire up the sewing machine to sew the strap down so it doesn't pop open on me, and then figure out how I'm gonna glue it onto the to the button. That's a good idea. One sounds like she has been definitely an elementary teacher in the past. That's probably Miss Miss Kimberly. I was thinking it was you. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> but we have both homeschooled our, our children, so Yeah. So who knows? I homeschooled my, 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 my son um tenth, eleventh, and twelfth. And I homeschooled my kids um off and on from preschool to graduation. So and we've both been known to teach crafts. 
I've taught quilting classes and Nancy, she's taught so much through her stuff. Through her show, her channel, rather. Darcia says she thought it was Nancy too. See, it's not me, it's you. You're a lot more patient than I am. You haven't seen me after um, behind the scenes. <laughs> well, actually, sometimes you have. <laughs> I'll just say, I too have. And don't forget what I did to poor David when I was trying to teach him how to quilt. I said bad things. <laughs> it wasn't me. It was my alter ego. I do a lot, a lot, a lot of crafts. I sew, I, I, um, I paint, I crochet, I bead, I do miniatures. I do, um, I've dabbled on quilling. I've done, um, earrings. Um, let's see what I, I'm looking around to see what else I've done. I've worked with, um, little tumbling tower block projects. I'm, I've made houses out of cardboard. Um, what else have I done? I've, Painted on, on on wood, a lot of crochet, mainly crochet and sewing and painting. Everything else is, you know, when, when I have time, I do the other stuff. Dana, the kid a teacher or have been one. Um, well, again, I taught my kids, but other than that, I have taught quilt classes, but not on a regular basis. Did the season end, you guys? What season? <laughs> um, David spent a lot of time the last couple of days playing on Diablo for a current, oh. a current season, which is like an event. And... Um, it just ended a little while ago, and so I think he's feeling the loss. Okay, where was this supposed to go? Oh, for goodness sake! This this coming Friday, I'm gonna be I'm playing with some resin, UV resin. That's right. I want to do that with you, but I'm not gonna go spend the money on UV resin. I'm too cheap. But I will be paying very close attention because I probably will need to do it when I do the haunted house with something. Yeah, that would be good for, like for, for um if you're going to do some water features or something. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be doing... um the shelves and the picket fence for the garden room on Tuesday. I can't wait. Is this feed every Sunday or something? Um, usually, Miss, yeah, we're usually yeah, yeah. Here every Sunday. Yeah. If Miss Kimberly's feeling, feeling, you know, up to it. You can always go back and look at the replays if you want. Hey, I wanted to say something, Miss Kimberly. I, I went back to the to the to the lives. You're getting a lot of views afterwards. Well, thanks. I hope so. I was, I was like, wow. I still need 400 hours before I get. Um, the, the fan funded, supported. yeah, the fan funded. Oh, cool. 400 hours, but I don't think that that's impossible. No, it feels impossible at times, but okay. You guys hear that? <laughs> Make it possible. And I'm gonna need to to get with you on how to make some really cute little. You know, the things. 
to here. I, I sewed this the little band together so that way when I slide a bit behind here, it won't come apart. Now there I have to figure go. out if the fabric tack is going to be secure enough to put this down or not. You know what I mean? I used fabric tack once before, but it was really hard and gloopy. Not Angel said she is all cut up on all of my videos. Wow. You are my number one viewer. I don't even think my husband or son can say that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Go, Angel. Okay, I got to do the What's thing. What's the story on the resin off. thing you be doing? Okay, I'm. I have this UV resin, right? And I have some molds for some, to make some some jewelry. Um, Hold on, I, I, I did one one time. Let me see if I can find it real quick. I did it one time, and, and I want to do it again. Because it, it's been a while. Where's the other one? Angel, since you're all caught up, are you going to start quilting now? Did you learn anything? Did I teach you anything? Okay, I can't find my other one. Oh, here it is. Found the other one. I have these, I have molds and I also have bezels, which is this metal thing right here. So this one I made um, a few months ago where I embedded um, some strawberries inside the, the resin. And that's the bezel that I had. So I made that. And then I had molds where I put um, a, a dried flower, a dried daisy in it. And I put, did that one. And then on the back, I, I added some glitter. Who's Barkley? Very nice. So, Very so nice. I'll, I'll be doing something like that too. I have, a, besides the strawberries, I have a bunch of different um, fruits that I, I can, I can um, that I can, um, how you call it? What was I thinking? That I can embed into the into the resin. Angel says she's enjoying the journey so far. <laughs> <laughs> Very non-committal answer. Good job. <laughs> she's being she's she's being um. Uh, what is that that word called? Um, neutral. Yes. There's another word I'm, I'm thinking at. Je Ma Mary says, back, rice, rice, and rice soup and with potatoes, leftovers. Mm. Yum. That sounds good. And Crafty Andy like says, I food. always learn something from y'all. Dana, I did some polymer clay last week on, on Tiny Tuesday. And I made the snake plant with the polymer clay. Isn't it fun? I like the ones with the, the little pearls on it. That's my favorite. Oh, the itty bitty one? The, that one? Yes. I like that one. So I, I like to try out all kinds of mediums. And if I like it, I'll keep co continue using it. If I don't, I I, I leave it alone. <laughs> you know what I mean? So now let's see if the fabric tech is going to work. Gotta lower this down a little bit. Make it even. There we go. So what I'm gonna have to do is um, put this back here and then clamp it. And I won't know until tomorrow because I'm not going to open it <laughs> until tomorrow. Twenty-five of these things in an hour. Okay, now granted, his were smaller, so. He probably only had a few stitches per hexi or per side. Yeah, 
Dana's wanting to know about moderate and neutral. I think she was talking about what, what, was, what I was calling um, angel. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and she's, she says, Nancy, you'd have fun maybe posting some time-lapse videos of the resin molding stuff. I haven't done that. I've done I've done I've done um time lapse videos of my sketches that I do um daily, which um Nancy is behind this week. The last sketch I did was last Wednesday. It's one of those things that, that I get up in the morning it's like, oh sketching. But since this week I've been getting up you know, at noon, by the time I get to my my desk, I don't, I don't want to do any sketches. Well, you know, I kind of enjoyed getting to see more than one last Wednesday. I, I wouldn't mind doing the whole week on, on the live, but I, I don't want to, you know, have, you know, an extra long live like I usually do on Tuesdays and Fridays. Well, well Miss Mary, I, 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 I have um, I have some 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 tools for that. I want to see if they're, if they're gonna work. These guys. <laughs> you pulled out so the I'm, clamps. I'm pulling out the clamps. Make sure that this is light. So what I'm gonna do is close this up, right, and clamp it. And not open it up till tomorrow. See? Clamp. Who needs to go to the gym? You've got clamps. There we go. Put another one down here. What do I do while this is what while this is drying? <laughs> are we done today, or are we going to continue some more? Or I can I can pull up another project. Whatever you want to do. Um, Miss Mary, um, the 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 cardboard that I use is not wide enough to do a pen holder on the inside, unless I buy the twelve by twelve um, chipboard. But this is the eight and a half by eleven chipboard, and it's just enough to do the well, the, somewhat the cover without a pen. But I I have done. I'll show you. I'll show you in a second what I've done. I have I have a trick. Hold on. Let me close this last clamp up, and then I'll show you my trick. It's not my trick. I saw it on, on, on another. Um... There we go. I think I had another clamp. Where is it? Another Here, this guy. I use those, too. I'm going to use everything I have to, to make sure that stays on there. there. You think that'll stay? No. <laughs> I think I think I'll send you a few more clamps. I think so too. Okay. okay. I'm going to get my, my my little hold on. I have to get my my other little notebook. I'll show you what little. I saw this on when I was doing some junk journals. Not junk journals. Uh, bullet journals. I don't do those anymore. But you, you get these little itty bitty alligator clips, and you glue an elastic to it, mm -hmm. right there, right, and then you open it up, right, and you put it, you know, wherever you like, right there, and open that up, and you grab your pin. And you put it. Well, this one's a small pen. This is a, this is a skinny pen. We need a fat pen. <laughs> Hold on, let me get a fat pen. 
This pen, this this pen uh, lost weight. Hold on. This is a regular pen. There you go. And you put it right there. Like that. See it? Then you close it up. It's on the outside, but the, the reason that I don't, because um, the, this is an eight and a half by 11 chipboard. So I have five and a quarter, five and a quarter and half in the middle. So there's no extra chipboard. And I used to get the 12 by 12 chipboard and I, got, I used to get a lot of waste because you have, you know, the one inch here, then you have the four inches up here or whatever it was. So I started getting the eight and a half by 11. Hold on, let's see. I have another another um, notebook to put here. <laughs> this one, I, for some reason, I made for a smaller pad. So what I do now, if it's for me, all my other ones fit like a like a, like a glove. This one doesn't doesn't want to fit like a glove. So I just cut a little sliver off like that. So when I put it in here, it fits like a glove now. But well, I have to take this clip off. Hold on. Okay. Take the clip off. Put this here, right? Now you can put the clip back on. Hold on. Not with the pen. Put the clip back on. Close it. Put your pen on. You got you know the book. This pen is also loose too. We need, we need a fat pen. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, pen like me. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That one fits. See, but it, I've I've done I've done um. Is my um hold on a second. I don't think this is. I don't think this is but... see this one here I have an, I have enough room here because I you, I have my planner on this side and there and then my little sketch pad over here and a little pocket there and look it's Kimberly <gasps> look it's me so from from the spine here to here, I have this much room, so I could put a pen holder there if I wanted to. Because there's there's room in, in, inside the, you know, right there at the edge. You see it right there. Yeah. There's there's room to put a pen in there. And I saw um a, a YouTube creator the other day. You know those pen grips that you get at the, um to put on your pencils. She got the pen the the pencil grips. And use the E6000 and glued it onto the inside here, and then you could slide in your pen and um, your pen or pencil out, out and, and you have a little holder there. If you didn't want to do a, a, a you know out of paper or a ribbon or whatever, all kinds of different ideas that I get from other people that that I try to 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 see if it works on mine. If it don't work on mine, I, I I try something else. I sent it to her angel. <laughs> Miss, Miss, uh, Miss Crafty Annie, I don't I do not have any six thousand e six thousand left. I I was using Fabertac, so if, if Fabertac doesn't work, then then I'll, I'll have to go. Um, Oh, I've 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 done um tablet covers, Miss um Miss Mary. That I've used um, what is that thing called? Okay, Angel, send me your address in in Facebook. I'll get one to you. What she needs? She doesn't have the bookmark. Oh. She also doesn't have the the postcard either. 
Oops. Isn't fast track cancel that the four seconds? I have something. Yeah. We didn't talk about that. Yeah. It's, it's some kind of, it's like a neoprene. You know what I'm talking about? A neoprene that has fabric on one side. There's neoprene. I uh, don't know. I've, I've used that inside fabric when I make some iPad covers. I haven't made them in a while, but that's what I used to use inside of them. To, to be, be, instead of just having fabric alone, I used to add the, the neoprene inside. I had a piece here, but I can't find it handy right now. Angel, do you need one of these too? Or just the bookmark? Oh, Nancy. Mm -hmm. Four Seasons. Ah. <laughs> Whenever somebody orders one of my physical copies of the pattern, that's normally when they get a bookmark and a postcard from that project. Oh, I painted rocks um last Friday. There's my rocks. And these are my older rocks that I did last year. Yeah. I'm gonna finish my bagel while you look at my rocks. <laughs> and I did a little Ninja Turtle years ago. I like your Ninja Turtle. Well, I like all your rocks, but the little ninja turtle. He looks like he's got a secret. Him. This one I, I did do the do the back. These I just painted black. I gotta put a QR code back there. Yay! It looks like a doggy. <laughs> I didn't say what it was. I was wa wa waiting to see. <laughs> oh, it totally looks like a dog. You didn't think it did? I I did what about? I, I, I mean, I, I never struggled with them, but pe people um, I, I have um, I wonder if people see the same thing I do. That's why I was I was I, I said that. Okay, so I've started semi adding some of the dark water pieces. You, you can make yourself big so they can see, see um, your mm. little hexes a little better. Because I'm not doing anything I right now. Okay. So, it's at an angle. But you can see that I had kind of the little beachy sand colors there, which are right there. And then I've got the light blue because of the, the foam and the spray that comes up from the waterfall. And now I'm starting to add some of the actual water water colors. That's what I'm working on. But I'm going to wait until I get all of these made so that I can lay it out properly. I don't want to just start sewing them on all willy-nilly. Everything okay in the kitchen? Yep. Shell? Yep. Yeah. So he's making faux fried rice. F-A-U-X. And it's a recipe that I came up with so that I could have something that's got a little bit of an Asian flair to it that's low in carb. And healthy. So it's got, the rice is made from cauliflower, and there's chicken, and eggs, and some veggies, peas and carrots, peas and carrots. 
soy sauce. Soy sauce. And sugar-free teriyaki. And sugar-free teriyaki sauce. Yeah, exactly. Angel cauliflower rice. Which I'm not a huge cauliflower fan, but I think when you've got the right seasonings and stuff on it, I think it can be quite tasty. That's right. At one time, Nancy could have made millions painting pet rocks. You're absolutely right about that, J. Mary. Have I tried Miracle Rice? I never no. heard of it. I've never heard of it. Explain. Explain, explain. Inquiring minds want to know. Yes. I absolutely want to know. There we go. What's that? Here we go. Work on my, on my mess over here. Yeah, I have um fusible web. You now gotta put it where, where I remember where I put it. <laughs> oh, with, with my fabric. That'd be a good spot for it, right? It's like noodles, only it looks like rice. Sometimes it's hard to find. You just make it like the noodles very good. And how is it on um, carbs and protein? I put the fusible web with fabric. Can you imagine that concept? <laughs> no, not at all. This has to go somewhere where I, I won't bother it. So it's going to go right there. I need to bring my, my, um, my, um, Ferris wheel down. But I don't think a lot of people have seen my Ferris wheel that I made out of tumbling tower blocks. Unless you go to the video. Okay, this can go back to the fabric. I have a lot of, lot of, I'm getting like John. <laughs> Is that a good thing? Uh, right. Mom, if you're still watching, I want to inform you about something. So we're talking about the hexes that you purchased. Now, on the box, well, the package, it says that these are three-fourths inch hexes. But if you look closely, they're basing it on the side, not the full width across. I was going to say, that's not three-fourths. <laughs> no, it's back to the side. And so across, it is, turn the ruler the right way, it is one and a half inches. And I cut two inch pieces of fabric. So if yours are one inch across, then you could do one and a half inches. But if the one inch is based off of the side. Oh, is, your, is your mom making some too? Well, she, well, not this, but yeah, oh. she is, she did buy some to, to make a project. That's okay. got some hexy flowers in it. And so she was, we were talking about what size to cut the fabric. Gotcha. It's like Nancy doesn't need more notebooks. You know that, right? 
So I don't know why I made a Coca-Cola notebook. Because I have this one. That's right. Ah, okay. I have my planner. Oh, you go on ahead. Have fun. I look forward to watching it. And, and, and um, here's a notebook here inside my planner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm make it big. I have I have this one here with my logo, so, which I, I I just moved the the notebook that was here to the Coca Cola one. <laughs> and then I have hold on, like my crochet shirt. I have this one here, but, but this one's already pretty much used. I was going to say at least you used them. Yeah. Hold on. Get back, get, back, get back up there. There we go. And then I have this one here, but this is this is this one is is the one I used when I when I was doing the crochet instructor um class, which is which I'm I'm going back to it to make some new classes for to go to do. It. So here's my my notes for that. See, 2021. <laughs> I, I, I was like a, a real student putting the day in, uh, in the name of the class. <laughs> I still do that when I do stuff like that. Me too. Yes. Old habits die hard. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it also helps me because um, that way I know when I did that. So th this is... The this one here is, is, gonna, is probably going to get bigger and bigger. I, I'll show you my my first fabric covered notebook that I made. Of, you know, I, I say, oh, you can you can you you know reuse the cover. Yeah. But but I don't, I I never use reuse the cover. I left it in inside the notebook that I. This is this is a um. This started out. Hold on. This started out like this. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is one of the, the 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 one of the first ones that I did years ago. And let's see if there, as, if, the, if I put a date on the, on the 2011. This when I, when I started this notebook. So it, it has you know pictures of projects that I've done. That's that's. That's one of my favorite bags that I made. I like the fuzzy looking one. That's my crochet one that, that I that I did um not too long ago. And see, this is ideas and notes and patterns and all kinds of stuff mm -hmm. from 2011. And how how many of those have you made? Just curious. Uh, uh, I've, I've made a bunch of them in here. Look, look, look at look, look at look at JJ. Aww. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Why did he have to get so big? I don't know. I look at him every time. It's like I, I don't. How, how, what happened? Like I made um. Uh, a friend, a friend of mine, wanted a doggy bag like that. Oh, how fun! And and, and I, I I went around and, and did some some you know, I made one out of um regular fabric, but she wanted a John Deere, so that's that's the one I made. Oh, that's cute. So you, I did the grommet so you can have the the air holes. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me. Did well, how did the shoes come out? How did the what? The shoes, the pajama culture shoes, puppy slippers. I, I, I haven't. I'm, well, I'm, you I'm, asked the question, so I thought maybe you were getting ready to do something. I'm, I, because I, I was gonna use the thin yarn that that I have there. Yeah. To make them, because the the clay is for some reason it, it, 
They don't want to look right. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm not a, a um a, a clay person. Yeah. And I was trying something new and and it didn't want to do. No. Hey, yeah, but I'm, you should show them how how my doll looks so far anyway. Oh, I've I love this, that. I've made this piglet. I've made this poo. So cute. But, the, but so far the rest of me looks good. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use a smaller smaller crochet hook with with that because it's the same yarn that yeah. I used to make this little guy. Oh yeah. Okay. So it's a little. I I, I think it would be a little more detailed because the bigger the regular cotton yarn that I'm using for her doesn't look right. Oh, she, she's her basket. What I should have been doing is adding her hair while, while, while I was <laughs> contemplating the shoes. But th 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 this is where this is where the, the yeah. new notebook comes in. <laughs> yeah. um, oh, is Dana still here? I, I do watercolor too. <laughs> do a little bit of everything. Yes, her books do hold good memories. Look at me! Look at me! Hold up. I'm, tr I'm trying to hold her. Yeah, here we go. And I was trying to do her shoes and they, they, they got messed up because they, they... I tried. This is the first first round. They they they, they shattered. I think it was because of the clay, and then the, the the new clay it just it won't hold the shape. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Well, it's probably. I mean, I doubt you're doing something wrong. It's probably just. It's not meant for that project. Yeah. So th these I have these little baskets, where I have. Um, the projects and stuff. Cause here's the the. This is the, the doll pattern that I used. That that I, when did I do this one? 2019. For the actual um, doll body. You see all the, all my notes. <laughs> yeah. I still I still have it. It's still it's still in the draft. It's draft mode. <laughs> It sh it should be um and and then I, I have the, the the picture here too so it, when I had them here when I had enough enough room I had the different projects yeah um, organized but she I'm running out of room so th th they're on the back the back um the back table so th there she is she's yeah. still cute even if she's bald and has no face she will she will I know. I think she's still cute, though. Yeah, it's what's on the inside account. <laughs> Did you say it's what's on the inside account? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I have a bunch of other notebooks down here that you have old, um, old ideas and stuff. From years ago this one i don't know i don't think it happened what i did was uh, some swatches that i that someone gave me a fabric i glued it to the front oh i like that that's fun very bohemian let's see if i have a date on these see i need to to, to add date because this this is even older than the other one I used to draw ideas on how I was going to design bags. Okay, here's another another bag that I wanted to make. That's cute. Yes, Nancy is very, very talented. 
and, and, and I, I may come back and revisit these. Who knows? See, I even that's I was gonna make one like that. Thank you, Miss Nina. And then I don't know if this 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 is a type of block or anything, but I was gonna do something like that. Oh, that is fun. I'm trying to see if, if any of these have a date on it. I'm not good at keeping notebooks for my, my crafting stuff, but I do keep a notebook for all the, the mystery puzzles and stuff I solve. Because <laughs> clearly that's important. Of course. <laughs> uh. I know, I do. I have this notebook does not have one day on it. Isn't that weird? None of these pages. That is weird. Maybe it doesn't really exist. Maybe we're just thinking that we see it. And, and then um, Jay took my notebook and, and started drawing. <laughs> Is that Elmo and Cookie Monster? Yep. Ask me how I know. <laughs> and, and, and he was counting. Aww. So I wish I had a date on this so I would know when he did this. But I don't have no date on this notebook at all. No, no date on this one. Yes, I, the, the other notebook that I was showing you, the, the fabric one does have dates. This one was one of my earlier ones that don't have a date. See, I have this one here also that has a bunch of bunch of stuff. These are all the, the, the minions I've done. Well, not all of them. This is just a, a handful. Oh, this is not good either, Nancy. She, I have September 8th. Oh, 2012. There we go. This was from 2000. There we go. You see? 2012 orders. Yeah. There you go. So that, that again, all ideas and stuff. I did, I did make that, that, that mini bag. She, she, the lady sent me this and this this picture, and told me to make a mini one but bigger, and that's the one I did. And she wanted in pink, so I, I used to keep all you know be, before Facebook and YouTube and all that stuff. I used to keep all the other pictures in here. Here's one, when I des, when I designed my Ninja Turtles. These are all my my notes and stuff. This was May of 2013. Have you ever thought about making fish extenders bags? Who? Fish extender bags. You don't time. know what I'm talking about. Okay. No. Disney cruise thing. Well, it is. It's a Disney cruise thing, but she's in Florida. So what a great opportunity. Okay. When you take cruises on Disney, uh -huh. you can hang these, these, um, bags think of like one long piece of fabric with like pockets in it uh -huh. like a pocket per person kind of thing and you know like like you could put like a pair of shoes or something inside that kind of situation but on the front of them it's got either applicated or embroidered the person's name and when you take a cruise you get to sign up to be in a group of people that exchange fun little gifts and so they just go around to the doors and they just put the stuff in it okay I'm the, you need to send me the name of that so i can look it yeah. up yeah the first time we took the cruise we didn't know anything about it 
And then we were going to take a cruise and we got associated with a group, but then we ended up canceling the cruise. So we actually had one made and we didn't even get to use it, which is a bummer. But, you know, there's always the future. This oh, one was, on. do we have a date on this one? Hey, you want me to go outside? Are you ignoring the puppy? No, I'm just trying to go on this side just a minute. Oh, here we go. I think David's ignoring puppies. This one was in 2015. And, and, and I got a notebook and I covered it in minions. <laughs> and it was a very colorful notebook. Look. Where's the other one? I have my... Oh, where did it go? Oh, here it is. This is the, my Nancy Drew one. I, I took an old an old um, Nancy Drew book. I already have this one. So it was just an extra one. Mm-hmm. Remember this? And I I took the pages out and I and I put some some cardstock in there and I, I have all that stuff in there too. Oh, how fun. So, uh, since I love Nancy Drew, I have a Nancy Drew book. Oh, my goodness. They have fish extender pouches available on Amazon now. Okay. They didn't used to have them on there. No, you didn't make them. Yeah, you used to have to make them. This one's fairly new. This is from, from last year. And this is where, where I was keeping everybody's cards and thank you, whatchamacallits. I know, Nina. She she can make them so easily. This and one actually, I really used. This one I got for, for my honeymoon. Aww. This is, this is a, a wood cover. But I like I've never, that. But I've never used this one. I like that one a lot. Um actually there were people when i was making stuff to put inside fish extenders there were people who would ask me if i would make the stuff and sell them the things to put inside the fish extenders because not everybody was crafty enough to make them i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna go look for a fish is a fish f i s a extenders yeah okay oh and you put that on your door with pockets Oh, there's a fish that they hang off of. Oh, you're right, honey. I didn't I didn't explain that. The reason they're called fish extenders is because the pouches hang off of a fish emblem that's on the door. It extends off of the fish. Gotcha. But I did things like I painted um paint brushes and I put ribbons of different Disney characters on them painted them bright colors and people take them to the beach with them when they get to the um the special the private island there and they use it to dust the sand off of their feet anyway it, it was it was this whole craft what world um um the, this this second round of um storage boxes i brought my embroidery machine So I can try something. Yeah. Put their names on there, whatever. Ooh, dinner's done. I, 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 stay, I stay away from Disney um stuff. Yes. But, I mean, you could do it nautical themed. Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. Or... You know, if somebody's like really into like say frozen or something, you could have it done in the right color scheme. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Because I used to have a, a, a pattern of, for Mickey mm -hmm. on my rivalry site. I took it down. Yeah. You can get a lot of trouble if you're not careful. The, 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 I, I've, I had it up there for 10 years. They never came after me. But um, lately they've been, um, especially after the, the, the baby Grogu. 
Yeah. Fiasco? I I took it down. Well, she now. Um, well, what this I did, did, um, for one of the things I took, okay, for example, I, I was making these tiny little notebooks. And so let's say for Winnie the Pooh, I would have like a gold stripe and then a thinner red stripe and then a gold stripe because that represents the colors of Winnie the Pooh. Mm -hmm. So I did a lot of things like that that were very color associated. Oh, but my goodness. The ideas are endless. So I much try fun. One to see how, how much work it, it involves. I'm well, going to dehydrate. Have a purpose for it. I'm going to dehydrate. Well, okay. You can change me, you know, regular size. What? No, we we want to watch your empty chair. Obviously. My empty chair with my with my with my, my granny square shirt. I mean, um, poncho. Have Have any of you ever been on a Disney cruise? Yes. As a matter of fact, I have. Okay, you guys don't get to answer. <laughs> I'm talking to the people in the chat. Sadly, my experience wasn't as great as it could have been because I had an embedded bone from a tooth extraction that was inside and laying on a nerve. So I was in excruciating pain the whole time. But I, I enjoyed it enough to actually want to go again feeling well. Teach Earl and Jay how to crochet and sew to get all this stuff done. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Nina said that she hasn't been on one of the Disney cruises, but her parents took six of the grandkids. And did they enjoy it? Did they have good things to say? I would like to go, but I would like to go during some of the colder months when school is in session so that it would be a lot less crowded. Yeah, they loved it. I mean, there's a lot of attention to detail. I, I got to give them credit. I've been on only one cruise and that was my honeymoon six years ago. It was, it was a Norwegian. Now, David and I have looked at those. And to be honest, they look really great except for one thing. What? And you can probably answer. The pictures and stuff of the food looks like it's really frou-frou. And we're really, you know, plain Jane people. We're oh, back to cooking. No, they, they, they have, they have um, on the top floor where they have, it's like a buffet. They, they have different different styles of food. So if, if you want chicken, fried chicken or something, you could go to that station. Or if you want, like in the, oh, mo in the morning, okay. in the morning, if you want a, a, a lemon okay. crepe, you can get yeah. one of those. And then throughout the ship, they have different restaurants that are frou frou. Like it. Okay. Well, Disney was the same way. Okay. Okay. Well, that that feels that's better. Okay. Who wants to look at my 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 beautiful dinner? Ooh. And then the party. Yeah. Mary says, well, ladies, it's time for me to go. Kimberly, you and Nancy, take care. You guys in the chat, take care, too. Goodbye, all, and good night. Good night, sweet Mary. You want some next week. Next week. You gave, gave me the big one. My, my sugar had dropped to 114. Did I hear that there was good or bad news with the sugar? I sure it was good. It was 114. Oh, 
Awesome. So I'm trying to think of how many things are in my dinner that you are not allowed to have. <laughs> Can you have peas? Me? No. Carrots? Carrots? No. Onion? No onions. Can you have cauliflower? Uh, cauliflower, yes. So cauliflower, chicken, egg? Eggs, yes. Okay, cauliflower, chicken, egg, and probably the two, um, the sugar-free teriyaki and the soy, maybe. Yeah. Well, that's okay. That's, that's, that's still pretty good. If you wanted it. <laughs> OMG, I need to share. I, 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 I've been following the Painted, rock, um, painted um, Rocks page on Facebook. Mm-hmm. This, this little guy is adorable. A uh, sharing. You see him? Oh, my word. Isn't he adorable? Uh huh. You know, I have a weakness for mice. <laughs> and it has daisies. <laughs> oh. He's adorable. Oh, so sweet. I love it. Oh, my goodness. Well... My dinner's ready and my eyes are starting to get itchy, which means I should probably take some Benadryl soon, which means I will be too dopey and druggy to have a proper conversation with anybody. Or so a straight line? I, yeah. <laughs> I'd probably think it was straight. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? But I want to thank everybody. Let me give one more thank you before I go. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, and if you guys did not see the um the little bit of history about Albert Small, check the replay. You can fast forward until you get to it, but it's definitely worth checking out. Yes, very right. interesting. Well, I want to thank everybody for hanging out with us tonight. It was fun for me. It was Yay. for me, too. And we'll see if my notebook comes out. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll update everybody on Facebook tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, I will see you guys next Sunday when I'm back to following that drunkard's path on the Underground Railroad. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Wow. Nina says she managed to get 300 two-inch squares cut. Thank you for the company. Ah, <gasps> oh, Nina, thanks for keeping me company. I'm, I, I feel like a loser now, so. But thank you. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good night.